What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the Game here. Welcome to back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Did you know that Comet shards go for thirty thousand dollars in this game? What the actual frickin' doodle? I had two of them, so I'm rich AF in this game. So uh, money, not an issue apparently. <sighs> so yeah, that was something I found out <laughs> in like the last ten minutes. So apparently, Comet shards are like the best form of farming. If you find Comet shards, you just win. So. Speaking of, we're going to route five. Um, who are we going to lead with? Who am I getting the raids to? I'm giving it to Magic. Of course. I feel like, I don't know. Like I said, it's a weird mix between Daddy Magic. And then Quivarius kind of takes lead in situations of, um, like, catching Pokemon. Because if I'm struggling, I can be like, okay, Quivarius, you can just do your thing. Quivarius is good at taking hits and healing, which is a positive sting to be. But, like, he also did um the last totem, didn't he? I think. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm really bad at this, uh, this trial, by the way. So we're going to... I'm just gonna speed run it and don't care if I have to run into like this static Pokemon. Diddly little wop. The doodle wops. We're fighting a doodle wops with Desolate Land. Well, I know what I'm using now to kill this thing. That made it easy. If I can't use fire or my um, water, I'll use fire. So I think I messed up. Is that what that meant? I want to say that's what that meant. Oh, tiny mushroom. That's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one and find out. There's still three ingredients left. Cool. I always forget that one, so I'm actually proud I got that one pretty instantly. I don't think I'll be able to catch this. I'll try just in case I can, but I don't think I can. <sighs> if I can, I'm just saying no. Nope, can't catch them until the trial. Cool. Then I run away. There's no running from a trial. Oh, frick. Um, then I go to Machamp. If we've exhausted both of the other normal options, we just have to do this. Wide guard, but it failed because we're going to need alarm and kill it. Wide guard again. I don't think this matters. I mean, I don't know why we're even over here, to be honest. I don't think we need to do anything over here. An Oranberry. Yeah, we don't even need to be over here. I just kind of was, oh, was over here. This is where the TM is located. Yeah. Flame charge. We'll take that. That's the one that increases speed. Um, I should actually check on Stone Edge while I'm at it. Because... Okay. Flame charge everybody, but... Our rock dude can learn it. So... I like this moveset. I'm gonna get rid of Poison Tail though, for more coverage. Stone Edge. Oof. I'm 
I'm not teaching at the A. But I think I'm fine to get rid of Hyperfang. 80, 90, no. I'd rather 190 or 180. That's like a cross chop situation. And that's better than a move that does nothing. In the grad. Scheme of things. Oh, I'm sorry for that yawn. That was a rather large yawn. Shellor stable. More of those. Like, <clears throat> I guess I knew hidden items were in this game. Because, well, that exists in the first place. Um, what the heck am I missing? We need to find three more ingredients, yet I'm failing to get any one of them. A lagging tail. Ugh. Yeah, my brain's lagging, that's for sure. We got those. I told you I'm bad at this trial. I wasn't kidding. An absorb bulb. That's definitely not what we were intended to get. Um, let me talk to Mallow. Herb seed. Oh, you need Stoutland. Okay. Appearance sense. Wait, can I not do this trial? Tell. Definitely not the Pokemon we want to be fighting, but it's fine. Okay. Well, we'll make it work. Yeah, this is this episode is just this episode is brought to you in part by John can't complete the trial because he can't think. Um work up. I know, right? You gotta work up the courage to attack me. Bop. Okay. So it is not all at once like it is in the other game. Because in the other game it is all at once. So she should be like, yeah, you got this for me. Toxic thread. Interesting idea. No, in terms of am I actually learning it. Oh, I did not get it. Okay, so the last one was a failure. This one we actually got. Larvesta. Hmm. My trust in that is very low, but... At least that's an Oko. Hmm. I know what I gotta do for the other thing. Congratulations, you got the thing. Okay. That we did. Moving on forward in the universe. Now we can.
a macho brace. That's not what we wanted. One last ingredient we gotta find. That's the one I have no idea. Oh my gosh, that was it. It was literally there the whole time. Okay. Way to go, me. <laughs> I knew where I was going. It's just... I literally went there, too. Like, immediately at the beginning of the trial. I was like, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yeah, I was. It's just you have to use Stoutland. <laughs> to find the items, which makes sense. Gwen. Now we got all the ingredients. Let's cook this a meal. Yas. You got your thick club and a rare bone. And I brought fresh water and a rocky helmet. Okay, Joy. Are you ready for the bumpy ride? Because I certainly am not. This is going to be something. Flip that rocky helmet over and let pour the fresh water into it. Here you are. Here's the rocky helmet. Then get the mago berry and the tiny mushroom, the revival herb, and the miracle seed. Kyob, I got the thick club and rare bone for a minute. Or can I use your thick club and rare bone for a minute? Here you are. Okay, Gwen. Grab that thick club and rare bone and pound it to a pulp. Press A to pound the ingredients. Crush it. Grind it. Turn it to goo. The unique aroma begins to waft throughout the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Oh, what kind of underbrush are we talking? Um, no, but honestly, um, Totem Lorantis is going to be something that's going to be terrifying, and I'm ready for it. <laughs> or it's going to be the opposite of terrifying, and I'm not. <laughs> okay. It's plus two special defense, which is... A little rough for me. But I'm attacking physically. I'm going for it. I'm attacking physically. Why not? I'm going to Aqua Tail. It's not going to kill. It's a Carp Ink. It's actually pretty defensive. It is going to kill. It's not 150 base, you know, but de defense or anything. It's definitely not a defensive monster. And we definitely did not just overcome that. What the heck? Yeah, what the heck? How did we Oko that? I, I need to know this magic. How in the world did you freaking Oko that? It's a, I guess it's only got 50 base HP, I think. So I guess that makes sense. But still, I feel like this should have been taken, like, this should have been way harder than it was. Getting through that dialogue was harder than freaking <laughs> totem. Um, well, in that case, I think we actually can get to the, um, yeah. Okay. I... Was not expecting to get there. <sighs> but we're yeah, we're gonna make it to a, a different area of the map. So that's cool and all. The Ditto 5 does not exist in Sun and Moon, unfortunately, but also fortunately kind of, because then we don't have to have an ed episode dedicated to the Ditto 5. That was a nice pike, Yahweh. Lick. Oh my gosh. This dialogue just does not get any, any more. Well, 
You're headed off to fight Olivia? Not yet. That's the next episode problem. And the fact that I'm saying that that's the next episode problem is scary AF, dude. Like, here, have Smart Strike, which is actually Sparkling Aria, which is actually a 90 base power move for water types. So I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm very happy about that, actually. Thank you for giving me and providing me a good TM. Congrats. Off to Olivia. I feel like we shouldn't be off to Olivia already. This is like, this feels like it's moving way too fast. I don't know if you catch that kind of drift, but it feels like it is zooming this playthrough. It's just like, boom. Okay, you're here now. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I refuse. I refuse to be where I'm at in this game already. Nebby, you splash. Use the pointless move. Really? This is what you... I have a Cosmoium Lily. It's fine. It knows Water Gun. It's better than Splash. Um, it also knows Psy Wave. So that's cool too. Dude, imagine, imagine just having Cosmio, Cosmoium floating around. I'd be so curious to see how Cosmog would react to that. Because, yes, even though there's technically one, in my head there's two because there's one for, we got another one? Are you kidding me? You know what? The fact that we got another one, we gotta use it now. Oh, I had all these that I didn't sell. Interesting, okay. Quavarius. You really don't have a move that I would do that with. Um, what about Daddy? Secret Sword. That's a move that I would do that with. Also, I'm so glad I paid attention because I was like, okay, everything's fine with our Pokemon. No, it's not, John. It do you don't take poison damage in this game. Um, Hey there, honey. This is my wife, Professor Burnett. So, uh, I'm taken. I understood that already. It's fine, Kakui. Didn't have to point it out or anything. No, honestly, I think they did that because they knew they created a hot-ass professor. And they needed to make sure that they calmed down some of the art. Of course, people don't care about that if, like, you're together or married or whatever. They don't care. I do, but I'm weird. Um, it's just like, I can see them doing that, them recognizing, oh, our professor's kind of hot. We should probably add this girl here as like a, a buffer. <laughs> I, I feel like her entire purpose is just to be a buffer, um, which I feel bad because that's like not the purpose you want. Bronzong, Garatina. I have one. Do you want to study my Garatina? I am okay with dropping him off real quick. Um, if you want. Because then he's safe with you guys. And I can pick him up in generation. When I move over to generation 8. Because I have other Pokemon that um, are of more importance. Oh, that's right. You talked to Lily. Wrong person. <laughs> I went to talk to Burnett, and I was like, that's not who I'm supposed to talk to. Watch out for Team Skull. Let's go to Diglett Tunnel. Yay. I guess. Also. Oh, no. Game. I just have a double battle. Let me go do that double battle with Team Skull real quick. And then end the episode. Because we're at a perfect spot. <laughs> Game, just let us do that. Let us do us. Da, da, da. Wow, did you see that crack in the sky? We gotta go to the PMC real quick. And let me grab a Malasada too. No. You're not allowed to grab a Malasada. Didn't you know Malasadas are dangerous for your health? They're fried foods, so I guess they technically really are. Um, okay. I 
don't think we have much repels left. We have two. We have enough for 400 steps. Hi, Olivia. Oh, you're a force trainer, aren't you? Oh, you're not. Okay. Okay, I gotta be confident. Walking back is gonna cost me more steps. <laughs> As I just go walk back again. <laughs> Oh my god, it's our third metronome. Can we not get those? Like, I love this game, but three of the closest things to a moonstone. Other than, of course, other stones, but still. Oh, welcome. We're, di we're ex excavating this cave in order to see what Diglett's habitat's gonna be like. Adios. I mean, they live in the ground. That's Diglett's habitat for you. Lemonade. Lemonade. Nope, I'm not even testing that area. Zygarde cube, totally fine with me, but no. That's another thing, whatever. 